Hello people, how are you today? I am Gabriele and welcome to my channel. Yesterday the developers uploaded uh, a new patch adding human structures and the spawning system. It means you can now choose where to spawn with a friend. That's a really good thing. Now, I'm, I will give you the coordinates of this place in a few moments. This is the one of the human structures that they have added. The other one, to what I know, is on where the antenna is on uh, the west side of the map, on the, that mountain. I don't know if there are other human structures. If you know, please let me know in the comment section below. Now, I uh, wanted to have, I wanted to give you a good look of the human structure. What is it like? And as soon as we have finished the tour, we are going on Vulnona and see where it exactly is. Hello, Uta. I'm friendly. Okay, well, this is the human structure, hopefully that Tuta won't kill me. As you see, th there is a, a, a door. They have done pretty good job with all the facilities. Now, this, as you can see, looks like a fortified structure made by humans to contain what knows, who knows what, actually. Raptors usually jump on these things and then jump over buildings. And I've seen a couple that uh, are just staying and standing and walking on the fence. You need uh, a lot of ability to do that. I've tried and I just couldn't. Now, I wonder if humans, if you're playing human, you can like interact with this facility. I hope so, because it's going to be a very cool feature that they should be adding like interaction with buildings like more than just jumping on them like Utaraptors and Ipsilophodon are doing right now. If you could even like operate these doors, enter, you find let's say fire guns to deal with dinosaurs to contain the IPO problem or to contain the I don't know what's what what's their business like the Apollo engineering doing. With this, they've added a little of the lore to the story. We still don't know anything about it. And they are, the developers, I think they are just playing with us to build a hype. And after when the hype is very high, they are gonna tell us players what all of these buildings are about. This is a container. Let me check if it's open or it is open. So if you were a raptor, you could, ju ju you could jump on uh, these boxes and then over the container, hide in the container, plenty of stuff. Uh, okay, so this is a nice building, I like it. Uh, they have done a lot of work, a lot of attention to details. Mm, I, no, come on, man. No, well, this is where I am. I'm gonna copy my copy to clipboard, my latitude and longitude. And we done it. Now, we're gonna check it on Bulnona. Where is the position of these buildings? Where are they? And we go on Bulnona, basically. We Here we are, and we're gonna check on the location navigator. We do a copy and paste for what we copied already, over there. Now, we are not interested in uh, lake, in the altitude. We are more interested on the, three, on the first three figures of altitude and uh, longitude and latitude. Okay, this will do. Let me check it. Now, can you see it? We are just south, straight south of Arch Falls and straight left, straight west of Pocket Crossing, close to the spiral loop, right here, close to where I am. Now, uh, if you like this overall video, I finished by being eaten by the Tutaraptor, but I wanted to show you the first infrastructures the developers have added to the game. They have done a pretty good job, a lot of attention to details. Now, my question is, can players interact with facilities like this in the future? Can dinosaurs interact with facilities or is it just human or overall? Can players in general, like human, or if not human, dinosaurs, or if not dinosaur, human, can we interact with these facilities, like opening doors, opening hangars, um, I don't know, closing container doors? Uh, I'd love to know that. 
uh, if you know anything about this please let me know in the comment section below thank you again for watching and have very good holidays bye bye